hello everyone welcome back to my channel as some of you know my name is Gail I'm the owner of the bargains den.com the host and creator of this channel the bargains den studio so today we're getting this one ready for shipping so this is the embellish and let's see it's a size 2 XL I did it last night so I should remember that but I don't so I'm doing the inspection, the pre-inspection packaging, although I did a video of it last night, but you never know. I didn't miss anything, obviously. And like, I don't know if I talked a lot about the jacket though. So anyway, let's go to it. I'm going to do the buttons on the table when I'm packaging it because doing it on the hanger is hell. So I'm not going to do it on the hanger. So I'm going to do both buttons on the table. I already showed the customer what the jacket look like and funny thing is I completely forgot to list that jacket on my site I sold that on Mercury for $60 actually this customer was originally on Poshmark but I told him like I can only negotiate on Mercury because they don't charge me a fee I mean and it's just transfer fee transfer fee I can lose transfer fee but I cannot lose as much as Poshmark does charge me. In some occasion, I do negotiate on Poshmark. Actually, on a lot of occasions, depending if I'm having a special. If I'm having a special, 100% will negotiate on Poshmark. But if I'm not having a special, it's a little bit impossible for me to negotiate on Poshmark. So, whenever that happens, I always ask them if they have Mercury. If they don't, then I will, uh, like, I will try my best to come up with a price and meet in the middle because but on mercury obviously you can get more savings and that's why i always tell my customer if you have mercury fine i'm not telling you to go on my website i'm just telling you it's better if you have mercury of course if you don't then we use push mug and like you guys know i sell on ebay also so i on eBay, like, you know, I don't think the fees as much. So I've sold a lot on eBay. So it's just the fee sometimes. Like, and, but Poshmark is mostly when I'm having special, that's when I can truly negotiate. But if I'm not having special, it's a little harder. And when I was doing the promotion for my brother's funeral, well, so I can get enough of the fun. Funny thing is, last year when he got kidnapped, I didn't do the promotion. I had the money on my savings since I was buying a house. And unfortunately for me, I had to use my down payment to get him out of the trouble. It's not exactly the trouble that he wanted to be in, but he knows better. Unfortunately, he's no longer with us. I can't keep beating him up about that, even though, well, actually, I can pretend to be crazy and just talk to him. I do that anyway with my parents, even though they are gone. So, yeah, why not? We can all be crazy. So anyway, let's talk more about the jacket. I'm going back to it. So you guys can see, actually the design is really nice. It's different. And I'm gonna do the other jacket. I'm gonna finally start listing more. I started listing like the sneakers. I've been going on uh, cleaning sneakers a lot lately. So I'm gonna do that. I probably should be focusing more on the jacket versus whatever. I'm doing right now and talking about everything else but the jacket but you guys can already see that is in good condition it's clean obviously everything is always clean and if it wasn't clean it wouldn't be shipped so I just put it inside out I know I did that last night already but again because this is the pre-inspection packaging I wanted to do it over again so there's nothing new and I will check the pocket out well, that's an inside pocket. That's nice. I didn't do that last night. I didn't really go into the pocket. Let's see. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Yeah, there wouldn't be anything in there. I don't want to brag, but I usually am good with stains and doing the laundry. Please, I've been alive long enough to know how to do the laundry. And I wash clothes a lot, so I'm doing the other side just to make sure all the scenes are on point. Still good, good, good. 
believe it or not i went over the jacket before i even decided to accept the price so once i knew somebody was interested in it i took it out of the bin i took it out of the packaging that i usually put them in and i went over it like crazy it's better be safe than sorry and i don't want to be sorry okay turning it into the bag so you guys can see so like i was saying humblish i'm really hoping that i'm saying this right but i have an accent and i tend to mispronounce everything But I did all this last night, so I'm not worried. Which was a good thing. And we will do the button on the table. Okay. And I am going to start doing, I'm going to do the jacket right here. And the other jacket, I don't know where I put it. I just do the laundry iron stuff. Then mess them up by putting all of them together again and then start over. Go figure. Okay, so I put it back to the front. I'm not using the mannequin because the mannequin doesn't like me. And it's too heavy to move one. Like I want it to be moving one. And I'm going to use the black box for this one because, well, it's a jacket. And the last time I shipped anything that was a little on the thick side. I had to pay extra, even though the customer usually gets charged for shaping. But that last time, so like I was saying, so as far as shaping is concerned, I mean, I already discussed it already. So when it comes down to shaping, I'll usually put it like you know at a price where I can negotiate, like you know, because the last time I. I put it at a price so I wasn't sure, especially when it comes to those kind of shaping like the jean jacket. The little heavier plus the buttons and everything like that. I, mis I miscalculated the price. And I had to pay. I, like, you know, they were moved some, like, you know, the fee that wasn't charged the customer on my hand. So ever since then, I learned better be a little bit overweight versus, like, you know, under. Of course, like, I don't know how much they charge the customer because I've never been on that end. Oh, we're checking the buttons right now. Let's check the buttons. So I've never been on that end to know how much they charge. The customer actually sell. I used to buy from B-Stock and I used to get the big pallets. So I would drive to get the pallet, like, locally. I tried to buy locally. And because I was tired, once upon a time, I did pay for shipping, a lot of shipping. I hated paying for shipping because shipping can be a little bit much. And sometimes it's more than the item is worth. So that's like the reason I figured, like, you know, if it's not local, I'm not purchasing it. So that's like the reason I stay to local. As you guys can tell, the buttons are not loose. Obviously. And I just buttoned that up so you guys can see it. And then let's do the last button. And then we're going to do the pocket just to check. This one is super easy. Let's do the, but the pockets. Okay. And there's nothing in the pocket. Let's put the light on so you can see. Nothing in the pocket. And then let's button it up. So, oh yeah, I went back to doing Uber and Lyft to make in the morning, early in the morning, to end sometime in the afternoon when I'm not doing anything, to make up for the money that I spent. <sighs> well, I was still trying to save up to get my down payment back to what it was. So, I went back to doing it, and plus, funeral costs and everything. So, yeah. I think that's all that's new with me. And we will discuss the sneakers that I didn't discuss that I keep destroying my collection of destroyed sneakers. So this button also on the arm. So you guys can see. I know if like if you guys haven't watched the previous video, you won't know what I'm talking about when it comes to the sneakers. Because when it comes down to it. So done. So 
my collection of this toy sneakers. What I mean about that is because, well, before I learned how to clean properly, I used to just dog the sneaker. And that's why I think I have a lot of fading on the tag. I will show it to you and I will discuss it another time. This is about the customer and not about everything else. I'm using the black box like I mentioned before. The black box because, well, it's a jacket. Let's put that, the box on the floor and then I can pick it up later. It's a jacket and I want to be able to feed it properly. Just because I don't know how to fold doesn't mean I want to F with the jacket. I was going to do the regular packaging, like the pla eh, the packaging that I did the last, like for the shirts. But I realized it may not fit properly. And since I'm already not good at folding, I'm making a mess of this folding job. I probably should buy something and learn how to fold or use it to fold. See? Not my best job. So, yeah, not my best job, but it works. And this is going to need ironing. I don't know if I did iron that jacket after I washed it. I don't know. I mean, maybe I did for the listing. And after that, I put that in the packaging. The packaging it was in was an old one. So, because I should not reuse the plastic, I use a brand new packaging to shape it out so because it was in the bin with other clothes so i don't want the packaging and it doesn't look that good i wanted things to be a little more neat when i'm shaping it out so let's close it yeah usually i would remove it to put it another way but now i'm not so let's take the box back yeah, I'm using one of the black box that I, of course, painted. Mm. It's better that way. The thank you letter, you guys already know. Of course, I hide the name because, again, personal information. We went about that life. I don't want people to know anybody's personal information. So, here we go. Okay. And then I'm gonna close it. So this side first, and then this side first. And then it's gonna be super annoying because you're gonna hear the tape for a moment. Bear with it. Super annoying. I know I don't like it either. And I usually stop, like, but I'm not gonna overly tape it because this box is actually very sturdy, so I only need to do it one more time. And then I can put the label. Yeah. Still super annoying. Okay. Let's put the label on and then I come back. And we are done. So you guys can see we are done. I'm a little bit. Uh, I did overdo it a little bit. I did some more tape. But we are done. Thank you guys so much for watching. Till next time. Bye.